I've got to say, I do feel for Brighton's goalkeeper, Jason Steele. He uh, has had a long time to uh, think about that error, and he's looked ashen since making it. He's had an uncomfortable night all evening, really. He hasn't really been that busy. He's going to be busy now as we start the penalty shootout. First up for Newport County, their captain, Josh Sheehan, player of the season last year, won his first cap for Wales in October. And it's saved. Brilliant from Jason Steele. He guesses the right way, or anticipates the right way, I should say. Let's give him credit. It's a decent attempt from Josh Sheehan. It's, it's hit with power. It's heading towards the corner. And that was a fabulous save from the under-pressure goalkeeper, Jason Steele. Next up for Brighton, Pascal Gross. Both of his goals this season have come from the penalty spot against Liverpool and Southampton. Can Tom King deliver for Newport County again? Gross for Brighton. Sends the keeper the wrong way, and Brighton lead after a penalty apiece. Yeah, it was an emphatic penalty, wasn't it? It was a kidology dip. Pascal Gross using his experience. A little stutter in the run-up. Trying to wait to see that Tom King move first before placing it in the opposite corner. And it worked. Mickey Dimitriou for Newport County. Missed from the spot in round two of the cup here against Salford. Needs to deliver for Michael Flynn this evening. Relatively short run up. Can still do it again. He can. What a story is developing here in the penalty shootout for Jason Steele. He's pumped up now, isn't he? And who can blame him? As you said, he looks ashen. He thought he'd cost his team a, an FA Cup tie. But he's full back, showing good character, great determination. Gone to his right twice and made two fine saves. I wonder if he's been getting some stick from some people behind that goal because it was uh, some celebration. Neil Mope for Brighton. He's also scored from the spot this time. Six goals this season, three of which have been penalties. He's not had the best of nights, the Frenchman. Just the one opportunity. But his link-up play wasn't as good as it can be. But a chance to put Brighton two up in the shootout. It's a poor penalty, scuffs it. I think it might have been going wide anyway, but Tom King made the save. Mopé's night doesn't get any better. Yep, he scuffs it. You're entirely correct. It's not a great connection, not a great strike. He's looking at the goalkeeper. He doesn't make good connection with it. And it is a good save. Tom King, another excellent save from the Liverpool County goalkeeper, which does give his team very, very much for firmly in the in the penalty shootout. They just won't go away, will they, Newport? Josh Labadie <laughs> is next up for the League Two side. That's how to take a penalty. Steele again going to his right, the ball thumps more centrally. They're still in this game, Newport County. It doesn't mess about it, takes it quickly as well. So Jason Steele didn't look as if he was entirely ready for that one. Josh Laverty went for the fast approach, took the goalkeeper completely by surprise. Keepers are used to the stutter run up and a slow run up from penalty takers, and the fact he sprinted up, took it, and smashed it home, surprised the, the Brighton keeper. Pressure now on uh, Yves Bissouma of Brighton, Graham Potter down. Look, Bissouma with the stuttering run, he's hit the post! And they're all square again. 1 1 after three penalties each. Incredible. There's the stutter run up. <laughs> Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Firmly hits the post though. We haven't seen many good penalties so far. Fourth up 
is Ryan Taylor for Newport to put them in front, and he has done. Barely had a kick since coming on. Brilliant tails! I think Michael Flynn enjoyed that. 2-1 Newport lead. And Lewis Duck, the Brighton captain. Has to score, doesn't he, really, Terry? Five attempts at the goalkeeper tonight, and he saved them all. Can Lewis Dunk finally succeed? Or will it be another save for the Newton County goalkeeper, Tom King? The other three Bryant players have all stuttered in their run-up. Dunk scores! It was too powerfully struck for King, who got his hands to it. It's 2-2, and it's sudden death, effectively. Yeah, it's the power, isn't it, that beats the goalkeeper? it really firmly it's not in the corner Tom King anticipates goes the right way goes to his left but the pound is just enough to beat him Liam Shepard whose cross led to that equalizer for Newport in the fifth minute of out of time Shepard against Steele and Steele saves it Steele who football Shepard's cross earlier in the game makes no mistake here and now it's advantage, Brighton and Hove Albion again. This time it's to his left, he's made two saves to his right. Yeah, he scores it again. This time he goes full length to his left. And he's just checking on the situation now, what does he need to do, what does Brighton need to do? Well, we'll hope that he's not required again, and this fella who's... Uh, Hasn't been able to put a foot right since coming on. Leandro Trossard as a sub has a chance to win it for Brighton and Hove Albion with their fifth penalty. <laughs> Trossard against King. And it's saved. Another dreadful penalty. And whatever Steele does, King matches him. Trossard inquiring there is to whether the goalkeeper moved them. He didn't have to. Straight down the middle. Tom King was going to his right, but so weakly hit him by Trossard that Tom King was able just to stick a foot out and kick it clear. We are witnessing some very good saves. We're also witnessing some very ordinary penalties. And that was terrible from Trossard so Jamie Proctor another late sub tonight for Newport will test Steele again and he scored Steele guessing the right way but not getting enough on it and suddenly the ball is firmly in Newport's court again it's gone from Brighton having the chance to win it now to having to score to stay in the tight to stay in the FA Cup in Tom King against Davy Proper. There's great belief in the Newport technical area that Tom King is going to be Newport's King again. Proper takes, cool as custard, the Dutchman, and it's 3 3, and we go on. I was really confident if I would have been Brighton supporter there that David Proper would, would score that goal. Shame, shame, it, shame, from, shame, sorry, Terry, shame from uh, Potter's point of view that he wasn't number five on the list rather than <laughs> number six. It's a late night for those upstairs, but I suppose they could go straight into bed as soon as the final whistle goes on this one. Penalty number seven, and Steele has produced another nine. save. It's Bennett this time, who's denied. Steele has been incredible with the penalty shootout. His fourth save. They've all been really good saves as well. Heartbreak for Scott Bennett. But uh, Jason Steele has more than made up for his area earlier in the game that led to Aaron Webster scoring the own goal. How fitting it would be if after Steele saves from the penalties, 
Aaron Webster wins it for Brighton with this penalty. This goes in, Brighton are through. It does go in, Brighton are through. But what an incredible night of late drama that Rodney Perret, Tom King, the hero for Newport, did his utmost to keep the lead two side in the competition. But ultimately, Graham Potter's Brighton have made it through to Yeah, they thought they'd won it in the 90 minutes, but they were denied all the way through extra time, all the way through the penalty shootout. The villain turned into hero for Brighton. Jason Steele was incredible in the penalty shootout, made up for that massive error in the 95th minute of the game. Adam Webster, it's, it's ironic. Those two players involved in Brighton eventually going through. Michael Flynn, so close to guarding Newport past another Premier League team. Final score, Newport County 1, Brighton and Albion 1, but it's Premier League Brighton who go through, winning the shootout 4-3.